Hi everyone, this is Cindy Wilkinson from Just Sponge It. I'm really excited today because I'm going to show you a super cool card uh, using the Balloon Adventures stamp set. And this is on page 5 of the Occasions catalog. That catalog is now live, so uh, everybody can order. Um, it also uses the balloon pop-up thinlet dies, although we're not going to use it as a pop-up this time, but we're going to make a shaker card. But this is a really fun set. It's got matching paper and uh, embellishments and ribbon and washi tape. So let's let's get started. Now this is a card that I had on my blog on the 28th of December. And I've been going to shoot a video now for two weeks and life has just gotten in the way. So I'm finally getting to it. And I thought we would do the same card but in different colors. Um, this is really a simple card to make and it just gives the wow factor, I think. So let's, um, we're going to use Watermelon Wonder and Real Red for our colors. This is all the dyes that come in the, um, in the set. And I thought I would show these to you so you could see them. So this is the big die. This is the pop-up die, but we're not, it's this piece right here that has the balloons and everything, but we're not going to pop it up on this one. And it's got the matching balloons and uh, a cute um, bow. This can go on a pack, uh, like a package. And I have not worked with this piece yet, so I'm not sure exactly how this works. And there's also a um, skinny piece to put on your balloons. So let's start on our card. Let me move these away. Um, first of all, we're gonna need to die cut our balloon piece that's going to go right here. And I will have all of these measurements on my blog uh, instead of rattling them off here. And um, so you'll need to hop on over to my blog to get the measurements. So let's, let me bring the big shot in and let's die cut this. It's really hard to get the big shot in my frame, so bear with me. So this piece is going to go here and I'm going to just if the die is bigger than my paper, so I'm just going to center it as best as I can. From So I've got a little piece up here, and then down here I have a little bit. And then from side to side. And here's my other plate. And we're going to, let me see here. It just seems no matter how much workspace you have, it's never enough. Oops. And this is going to pop right out. And these pieces come out very easily. So this is cute right on it as itself, without anything else, but we're going to make it cuter. Alright, so there's our piece that goes in front. Let me move the big shot because we're done with it. So let's move this out of the way. Let's uh, put our window sheet on the back. And I'm going to do use... The window sheet is just a little bit bigger than the inside of, of this die. So I'm going to use the liquid Tombow glue and I'm just going to, well, I was just going to do a little bit, so I probably need to take some of that off, otherwise it's going to squirt everywhere. So I'm going to just take some of that off and then we're going to lay this window sheet right over the top. And let that dry for a second and we'll get our base ready. So the base is Watermelon Wonder 
and the balloon part is real red. Okay, next we're going to add our uh, adhesive strip. And I, when I'm doing a shaker card, I like to make sure if, if I'm going to use more than one piece, uh, if the, the, where the pieces meet, I'd like them to be like above. I don't want anything down here where it's going to have, uh, where you meet up two pieces. Does that make sense? So I'm going to start right here and then come around. And these foam strips are really good because you can turn them. And so now I need another one. So the reason for my not wanting to have the pieces connect at the bottom is because most of your shaker pieces are going to be down here. So if it's going to come apart or any of the shaker pieces come out, it's going to be where the two meet. this and then just clip it off okay so now we've got our shaker piece now um, because this is such a large card I went ahead and added some adhesive the foam strips up here and one across here to give the card stability. And you know what? I'm going to take some of this off because we want the sh shaker pieces to be able to get up here. All right. This is what's going to go over the top once we get our shaker pieces in. It's got sequins. Let me see if you can see it here. Sequins and little pieces, square pieces, round pieces, and there's some pearls in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glitter because what's a shaker card without glitter, right? And I think a few of these as well. Okay, now we're going to carefully pull off the backing. And don't forget about the backing on here, too. And then one more. Maybe I'm going to pull off the backing. Okay. Now we're going to add our backing. And let me see if I can get this straight. And then press. Okay, so here's what we got. So, this is pretty cool. So now let's decorate the balloons. And for the balloons on this card, I used uh, gold glimmer paper. So I think for the red, we'll use silver glimmer paper. All right, let me bring my big shot back in. We're going to die cut oops, the balloons with the silver glimmer paper. So these pop right out. 
have my dye brush here, so I'm just going to use, and you can see these will, are going to just poke right out. My dogs are playing in the background, so you'll have to excuse the growling. My little dog, new dog, is giving me a run for my money. He's like, what was I thinking when I decided to get another dog? It's like having a toddler. And then here's the other one. And these are going to just pop right out, too. Okay. So now we're done with the big shot. Okay, so now we're going to decorate our card, our balloons. So I'm going to put these like this, and then I have a piece of vellum. This set also coordinates with the balloon punch, and we're going to punch a big balloon. the center. You could stamp it too, but I'm going to stamp inside the card so I thought uh, the vellum looks good. Now, uh, a tip. How are you going to adhere this so that you don't see your um, adhesive? What I do is I use a glue dot in one spot and that's where I'll, where I'll put a rhinestone or enamel shape um, to cover up the glue dot. So I'm going to put the glue dot right here. And then we'll get one of these enamel pieces. And I think I'm going to use the large um, circle. And I'm going to just cover up. So now you can't see the glue dot. And then let's glue these down. And I'm not using a whole lot of glue because it'll just seep out. And you don't really need a lot with the Tombow. So you can see why you put the vellum one um, down first because these go right over it just a little bit on the side right here. Okay. And I see I missed one right here. Okay, looking good. Now we want to um, add our stamped image here, and I should have stamped this before I put it together, but I didn't. So we're going to use the black archival ink. And with photopolymer, you can shape your stamps how you want them. This is really a straight stamp, and I just curved it a little bit so that it will fit right in here. Okay. Uh, now we're going to add it to our card front. So it's going to go like this, and I'm going to use fast. I'm going to use fast fuse because it's thick, it's heavy. I want to make sure that it stays. And remember, when you use the fast fuse, you go down and then you give it a little check, and that breaks the the uh, adhesive so that you don't have this long glue st uh, strip. Okay. And then this is going to go, it's as it's tall as the card, but it's going to go in the center all the way to the top. This is kind of hard for me to do. Okay, so there you have it. Now, I want to add a bow, 
And I have one here already done that I can't, oh, here it is right here. This is our quarter inch uh, grow grain ribbon and it is on page uh, 15. It's up here, you get a, it's a bundle. You get red and white, uh, five, five yards of, on each roll. So I'm gonna attach it with a glue dot. And then just add it right down here. Okay, so now we're done with the uh, top part of the card. Let's work on the inside. So for the inside, I'm gonna stamp the balloons in watermelon and red. Let's see, how did I do this one? I forget. Oh, I put it's your birthday at the bottom and then I stamp the balloons on the side. So let's do the sentiment. And this one I took out, uh, no one deserves a happier birthday than you. So let me stamp that first. So I'm gonna stamp it kind of over to the side. And I don't have my pad here. Okay. Whenever you're using photopolymer, it's really good to have your um, craft pad here. Uh, it helps get a clear image. And now let's do the balloons. So we're going to do this one up here. And then a string. In fact, I think we're only going to do one balloon because the greeting is sentiment is longer. So that gives you a little bit of room to sign your name. And then we're going to adhere this to the inside of the card. And there you go. There's your shaker card. And I see I did not take off this little piece right here. You could add a little bit of the uh, um, liquid adhesive here to pop that down so it doesn't get caught in anything. But here are my two cards. Which one do you like better? The red one or the blue one? I'm thinking I like the blue one better. So if you have any questions or need any materials to complete these pro this project, don't hesitate to go to my online store and I'll have a link um, on my video. Uh, thanks for watching and Happy New Year. Bye.